Ah, uh, time na? Well, it's time to go for a walk around of the 31st transport show here at SMX. I'm here at the Auto Industria booth, just having a nap in this nice blue um, Civic. Who's that guy? Never mind. The transport show is the single longest running motoring event here in the Philippines. I mean, this is the 31st edition, which means uh, the first one I was probably 10 or maybe even 9. But it's getting bigger every year and definitely more exotic. I mean, look to my right, you can see a series of Lamborghinis. We have the SVJ, the STO. Actually, there are two STOs here at the show. You have another Aventador. There are way more. If you like Ferraris, there are Ferraris over here at this show. You've got Porsches as well. You've got of all shapes and sizes. Even a Lamborghini Urus somewhere over there. This one I like. 911 Turbo S looks very clean, looks very gentlemanly. You like Ferraris? Well, got one here and another over there and another Lambo. Man, it's an... Oh, sorry. Three STOs right here at the show. If you like that kind of thing, come on over. The transport show is the opportunity for many of the big brands in the Philippines to showcase what they have. And of course, the presenting sponsor for the 31st transport show is Motul. They have a big display. They have the BMW M4. They have a Porsche GT3 RS, the 911. That's a nice car. You also have the Lotus Exige over there. Uh, the Evo 5, I'm a sucker for Evo 5s. And the one they have is absolutely pristine, as well as an SIR and the SDI. Whichever you want, well, they've got it over here at Matul. Oh, sorry, yeah, getting a feel for the classics is something you can do here at the Transport Show. They've got everything. American Classics is a Buick Super from 1951. This is a Ford Mustang Coupe in black from Alfred Motorworks. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the way they shine it up. But yes, if you're the type that likes the white sidewalls, you're going to like it here. But also, if you like Japanese cars, well, this is something you'll also enjoy. Because the Lancers, I'm a big fan of the Lancer always for the longest time. This L-Type, love it. I love the way it looks. I'm not even sure if it's an L-Type. I didn't see the back. Looks like it. This one, of course, not a classic car, but still very nice. But the one that's interesting here is the Mitsubishi Lancer here. The one from the 1980s. Because, see the engine? See anything different? Well, that looks like an AMG engine to me from the Mitsubishi Galant GTI AMG. One of those very rare ones, if it is real. Now over here, we have the Triumph ER4. You don't see too many of these in the Philippines, especially in this kind of condition. You also have a Mini, or is that an Austin pickup truck? It's a Mini pickup truck. That's, that's pretty cool. That is also quite rare here. But if we go over to this side, well, Come on over. See, it's it's really nice that the classic cars are being given a new spin. And in this case, these three have actually been modified to be electric. This electric Volkswagen Beetle, we've already seen this at the previous, uh, I think, Manila Auto Salon or Transport Show. This one is an MR2, not really, you know, super classic, but it has been made electric. And also this one, another Triumph, but also, in electric it's nice that they're giving these cars a new lease on life if you like 4x4 and off-road there's a lot of that here at TSS there are a lot of different shops showcasing all the different accessories all their different modifications anything you want to do to your truck they can do it right here and especially if you go to a place like Autobot off-road they've got their actually apparel shop right here you can buy all kinds of accessories for your next camping trip for your next off-road adventure and you can check out what they have when you visit TSS. Transport show will always be a haven for contemporary tuner cars. And you can see that right here, the STI, the S2000, and of course this, well, it's a Volkswagen, but it still looks pretty good. But they're also leveling up with a lot of other modified cars some we haven't really seen before. Somewhere over there, you can find an LS Swap Toyota 86, which is pretty cool. But the ones I really like, personal favorites of mine, these three right here. 
because this one we have a Corolla I think this is this will be the first of the front wheel drive Corollas and if you check it out check out that engine silver top with ITVs and velocity stacks beautiful right there that's from 1984 this one especially if you're a center guy well look at the look at the engine first right you've got an SR uh, what, SR16 or SR20 I'm not sure which one this is but it really looks good but if you look back up a bit look at the doors on that car you see any rear doors that's a coupe now if we move over here though this AE92 or AE90 I'm not sure which one it is but it's got, see the engine see the black top that's a 4AG black top pretty cool there are more all around the show and it's up to you to find out which one you like A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, our friend Atoy and his friends were working on things like custom Japanese cars, body kits, but clearly they've moved on from that into doing custom RVs. We can see all of that here at TSS. This is one of his customized uh, vans as well, but what's really proven popular are customizations like this that you see here. Because check out these seats. This is what Atoy calls, well, Manila proofing, or at least I think that's still what he calls it. But it's all about customizing the car for comfort every day and also turning the skills of his guys into creating one-of-a-kind RVs. Uh, if we look over here, this is one of the, I guess, trucks that you can like, take anywhere because if you go inside, come on inside, check it out. It's practically a condo ish with a sofa bed but it looks pretty awesome take care there oh, see that's what Atoy has been doing and his crew they've been customizing to give you something comfortable but of course mobility has to be for everyone and that's why they're working on things like this I'm not sure if it can take me but you know probably can There's so much to see, so little time here at the Transport Show, the 2023 edition. If you're looking for parts, if you're looking for new cars, if you're looking to take a picture with the model, you can do all of that here. But yeah, come on over here. It runs until May 21, 2023. That's this Sunday. You can check out everything they have, including this rather cool FJ Cruiser with no rear seats, right? From Overland Kings. Yeah, now let's take a little break. Boss, I'm going to go to the boss. 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 I'm going